Hello YouTubers, uh, millionaires, uh, multi-millionaires, future millionaires, thanks for spending time with me. My name is Ali and uh, today I have a little um, video that's unusual. I usually don't do those type of videos but uh, I was watching um, Steve Jobs uh, interview and I thought it was very interesting to share that piece of information with you. Uh, he was talking about how when an idea is being created and um, after a while when a company gets big the marketing department and the sales department they have more control in promoting the product and doing the sales on the product than the people that actually created the product basically you could have um, um, innovative product like Apple for example like say the iPhone in the early stages and when the marketing department and the sales department they go full throttle with it and they leave out the innovation part which is the the, the, the product itself marketing and sales takes over and um, the innovation parts get left out I hope that makes sense to you guys let's listen to what Steve Jobs have to say and maybe it'll solidify the point that I'm trying to make here here we go with John, with John Scully, Scully. Like with, like with John Scully, um, John, John came from PepsiCo, and, and they, they, they at most would change their product in once every 10 years. I mean, to them, a new product was like a new size bottle, right? So, so if, you if you were a product person, person you, couldn't you couldn't change the course of that company very much. So who, so who influenced the success of PepsiCo? The sales and marketing people. Therefore, therefore they, they were the ones that got promoted, and therefore, they were the ones that ran the company. Well, well for, PepsiCo, for PepsiCo, that might have been okay, but... but it turns, it turns out, out the same thing can happen, happen in technology companies that get, that get, get monopolies, like, like oh, IBM, IBM and Xerox. And Xerox. If, you were if you were a product, product person at IBM, IBM Xerox. or Xerox, maybe I should have specified. I guess his um, his um, idea is it's okay for that to happen in certain companies. When he was talking about PepsiCo, that was okay to do. But when it comes to technology company, he believes that's not the direction it should go so just to clarify that point um, let's listen a little more and I'll um, comment on it and let you guys know what I feel what I, what I think about it awesome. and you guys can share your comments below if you have any um, any inputs at all so you, so you make a better copy or a better computer, better computer. So, what? so what when you have, when you have a, a monopoly, monopoly market, market share, share the company's, the company's not, not any more successful so the, so the people that can make the company more successful are sales and marketing people. And they, and they end up running the companies. And the, and the product people get driven out of the decision making forms. And, and the companies forget what it means to make great products. It, it That's the point that I'm trying to say here. When, when the sales department and the marketing department take full control of, of what's going on in the company, the market, the, the the people that are designing the product, they get completely left out, and they forget that the whole reason that they're there because of the product, and you cannot neglect that. You basically have to know that your the product is the most important thing. You can have the best marketing department and the best sales department in the world, but if your product is faulty product or it doesn't solve a problem. And it, it, it's not innovative where it's um, where it's uh, it, it could um, I can't think of another word uh, solve a problem basically if it's not a it doesn't deliver a value then if that part get left out the company I believe is going to collapse and and, and and fall apart after a while because the main reason the marketing department and the sales department exists because of this innovative product. Sort of the, sort of the product sensibility, sensibility and, the and the product genius, product genius that brought them to, those, to that monopolistic position gets rotted, gets rotted out by people, by people running, running these companies who have no conception of a good, of a good product versus, a, versus bad. a bad product. They have no, they have no conception of the craftsmanship that's required to take a, to take a good idea, idea and turn it into a good product. And they really, and they really have no feeling in their hearts usually about wanting to really help the customers. So, so that's, that's what happened at Xerox. The people at Xerox... See, that's going back to my point, that, that um, 
the marketing department all they're doing is just marketing the product but their 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 main objective is marketing they're not worrying about helping the the customer with whatever it is that the problem that they're having their all their job is just to market the product and the idea of of the product being invented for the sake of providing a solution to a problem gets forgotten about and I believe that's what causes big companies to collapse because they don't focus on uh, uh, um, what's the word I'm thinking of um, successful innovation or successful product that actually provides a solution that's what I think it's parties to call the people around zero toner hands I, I like uh, uh, Steve Jobs' sense of humor. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. It's it's uh, usually um, it, it's usually I don't um, upload those type of videos, but I thought it was very interesting, and I want to share with you guys. A lot of people, um, like in, in in the marketing business that I'm in right now, a lot of uh, affiliates or digital marketers they they promote product and they have they would run paid ads whether it's Google or Facebook or Bing whatever the situation may be and they have a lot of impression which means people are clicking on the product but there's no conversion which means there's no sales at the end of the day and they wonder why is that happening and it's because of the offer itself if you have a, a weak offer or an offer that doesn't uh, uh, provide a solution you're gonna have a very difficult time to get people to convert um, basically, you have to you have to identify your your audience and find out the pain points and provide the solution. And if that product doesn't do that, it doesn't matter how strong your marketing strategy is or how strong your salesmanship is. If you have a product that doesn't solve a problem or deliver a value you can promote it all day long you may you might get lucky and do a few sales here and there but I'll give you guys a small small example uh, the last agency that I used to work uh, with um, I used to work at a department where we sold certain policies that I wasn't very impressed with and for a short period of time I was um, offered to go to a new department that offered a new policy and new from a new provider and I was very sold on the policy it just it's provided um, great solution to my to my clients and uh, the quota for that day was for us to sell four policies and I was selling anywhere from 13 to 14 policies a day that goes back to the point that I was saying earlier when you do have product that provides solution the product would sell itself but if you have product that doesn't provide doesn't doesn't provide solution it's going to be very difficult to convince people to buy it so my point my point to you guys when you decide to promote all you digital marketers affiliate marketers anybody that's online when you're not sold on the offer that you are trying to promote if you don't feel like it's um it's uh it's going to provide a solution or it's gonna it's not gonna if, if there's a pain point to your client and if it's not gonna address that pain point directly and 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 eliminate that pain point do not promote the product because all you're gonna do is waste your time and your money and the most important thing is the time you cannot get your time back so put your time into something that's valuable and something that delivers solutions um, whether it's uh, sometimes sometimes you can sell a product based on uh, eliminating pain points or sometimes pleasure like uh, somebody wants to go on a vacation somebody wants to uh, to, to buy a car whatever it is excite that that add excitement the excitement to them so uh, basically just make sure you pick out a good product when you're trying to promote whatever it is that you're promoting because it'll make your life so much easier and um, if you're looking for a financial freedom 
keeping that in the back of your mind will make your life a lot easier. Thanks, guys, for spending some time with me. I thought it was a really cool uh, point that Steve Jobs uh, addressed. And I just wanted to share it with you guys because I thought it was uh, absolutely, it's, 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 uh, it's on point and it's, uh, it's very, um, very well said the way he ex described it. Uh, again, my name is Ali. If you're uh, new to my channel, um, if you're already part of my channel, subscribe. Thank you so much. I'm here for you and because of you. And if you're new to my channel, please uh, make sure to subscribe. If you have any comments at all, leave them below. And remember, sharing is caring. If you've gotten any value out of this video, please share it. And uh, last but not least, I'm going to put a couple offers below if you guys are interested in uh, starting your online business. The offers that I do pick are uh, are offers that I studied, and I do know they will show results. And also, these offers, the 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 vendors are so sure that they will deliver results that a lot of these offers will offer 30 days money back guarantee so basically you get to try it for free you know what I mean so you try it out for 30 days 60 days some of them offer 90 days and if you feel like it's not for you they guarantee you you will be making sales and conversion within a short period that you have uh, when you purchase the offer uh, and if in the event that you don't they will give you a refund so that's always nice to have I hope you guys have a great day and best of luck and I will see you on the inside. Bye-bye.